What is wildfire? Wildfire is a fire that burns out of control in a natural area, like forest, grassland, or prairie. A wildfire can start from a natural cause such as lightning, but they are usually caused by a human, such as campers, hikers, who did not put out their camper properly. Wildfires spread quickly, burning brush, trees, and homes in effect. They can also affect natural resources, such as soils, animals, forests, and destroy homes, and put people's lives in danger. What to do before a wildfire? First, choose a room you can close off from outside air, set a portable air cleaner, or a filter to keep the air in this room. Cleaner even when it's smoky outdoors or in the rest of your home. Lastly, make a plan to keep wildfire smoke out of the school or a commercial building. So now, let us proceed to what to do if you become trapped during a wildfire. First is to stay calm. Second is to park your vehicle in an area clear of vegetation. Third is to close all vehicle windows and vents. Fourth is to cover is to cover yourself with wool blanket or jacket. Fifth is to lie on a vehicle floor. And lastly, use your cell phone to advise the officials or call 911. What to do after a wildfire? First, is check with fire officials before attempting to return to your home. Next is use caution when they entering a burned area, flare ups can occur. Next is check ground for hot spots, smoldering stumps, and vegetation. Use your buckets of water. Next is check the roof and exterior areas for sparks and embers. Next is continue to check for problem areas to several days. Lastly, contact 911 if any danger is perceived. On average, wildfires burn up to 5 million acres of land in the United States each year. While they can start naturally, wildfires are often caused by humans with devastating consequences. Types of wildfires may include forest, brush, and peatland fires, depending on the landscapes affected. Wildfires require three components known as the fire triangle, a heat source, fuel, and oxygen. Heat sources such as the sun, a hot bolt of lightning, or a smoldering match can supply enough heat to spark a fire. That spark then turns into flames when fuel or any flammable material is present. Dry, dead grasses, leaves, and trees are common fuels for wildfires, but so are living vegetation called green fuels. Pine trees and other evergreens contain flammable oils that can burn when exposed to a heat source. As the fuel burns, the resulting flames feed and thrive off of oxygen. When air movement or wind occurs, not only is more oxygen supplied to the fire, but it may also help transport and spread the flames. Since wildfires occur outdoors, they have a nearly endless supply of oxygen from our atmosphere to fires are the result of natural causes. A warmer climate and weather patterns like El Nino can create the hot, dry conditions necessary for fires to erupt. However, about 90% of wildfires are caused by human activity, such as campfires that become uncontrollable, improperly handled cigarettes, or arson. Although wildfires occur worldwide, they are most common in the western United States. There, high temperatures, drought, and frequent lightning and thunderstorms can create the perfect setting for wildfires. While they can be destructive, and sometimes even deadly for humans, wildfires do play an important role in nature. They can help a forest by removing harmful insects or diseased plants. 
and they can clear thick canopies to help sunshine reach seedlings on a forest floor. By being aware of the conditions necessary for wildfires to occur, they can be managed and prevented, thereby saving lives and making way for the positive effects of wildfires.